welcome back guys uh today in this adobe illustrator tutorial i will show you guys how to design this cool paper effect and uh, uh, text effect which look like uh, you draw with your hand with a ballpoint pen so this kind of effects are good for like um blueprint kind of drawing cover or any other any other cover if you want to add like someone done it with the with the hand written paper so best of all these these effects are not all static you can still edit this one uh, because all the effects are with the appearance panel as always so these are not uh, static effects so let's get started with the tutorial okay guys so let's start with the background first uh, i start with the paper maybe let's have a gradient gradient to the fill and um, start with a yellowish looking paper somewhere like this yeah Well, guys so i will lock this layer we don't need a uh, stroke for this background so i will lock with control 2 control number 2 will lock the layer all right you can lock from object and lock here also when you are selected and now go to lines and let's draw the lines all the shift key and draw the line and line color maybe a little bit gray or something like that and maybe even more lighter yes and make it 0 0.2 fine maybe 0 0.45 yeah and control all and drag until here and let's select both of them and make it center to the artboard artboard center and now go to blending tool and select two of both of both lines and let's give steps maybe 24 yeah this look okay and um, maybe this book like this is okay then now we draw the lead separator line and change the color to all right and center this one also and bring it all right so now we have this let's make it more realistic looking paper so we have this just drag and drop here select both of them and align and do the same step by step and double click on this one make it steps let's make it 20 I think 22 all right now select everything go to pathfinder and oh before that we have to go to object and expand and now select everything go to pathfinder and unite them bring them to the paper here make it center to artboard again vertically now all control number two will unlock all the layers select this red uh, uh, first of first uh, take out this fill color and select this uh, background layer and go to pathfinder and uh, and subtract from the selected layer background 
now select this one and arrange for to background so our paper is ready you can also have a paper texture with the opacity to make it even more realistic uh, before that what i will do is i will give a shadow select this one go to stylize and drop shadow preview and you guys can see this shadow part here we don't need five maybe three and y offset is maybe five x offset is uh, five also opacity uh, maybe 55 and okay yeah i think this look fine okay so our paper is ready you can have more realistic effect if you want to select this one and go and cut this corner select both of them and and now select this this corner part and reflect vertically and horizontally you can also give an angle to that all right guys so before we we have to bring this one here but before that uh, we bring the bring this uh, this uh, object to the front and now you can see it's in the front place it on the correct, correct place here and now we go to appearance palette and drop shadow preview and bring bring the drop shadow to here and my offset like that okay so now it's look like more like folded paper in the corner just for extra look guys and control alt 2 to unlock everything everything is one group select and arrange go back all right so now our, our paper is ready now we start to do the text okay so for this text this font i'm choosing um choosing some thick font probably the franklin gothic and let's uh, blue print okay so i select this font here let's place it maybe center both of them all right and uh, we give a color maybe like pen color blue color ball paint pen color is something like this very light not too dark i just copy this color for later use all right so very bright blue color and now select let's bring it to the line be like this yes okay guys once the placement is done we select both of these decks and go to appearance window if you can't see the appearance window here you can go to windows and uh, select this appearance uh, window from here okay now uh, we have selected this character and double click on the character and go to this fill and take out this fill and do the same for this one also double click the character go to fill and take out this this fill here uh, okay so there is a reason for this this thing i will show you guys why i did this now select both of them and apply a apply a new fill add new fill and in the field let's select the color we just selected which is this one okay now we have selected the field now we go into this field select in inside the field go to effects and 
go to stylize and scribble okay so as you guys can see uh, the scribble effect because i was playing with the settings earlier it straight away come what i wanted these these numbers you guys can make a screenshot and use these numbers if you use similar fonts but uh, these numbers straight away for you guys won't come like this it will have a different effect so you guys edit these things and change these settings maybe i will do so so i go to default it will be like this so what i will do is uh, i will go here and select this this option snare snare yeah and which will bring up these settings and then from here we can change the settings and play with the settings to maybe one variation is zero stroke width is 0 0.75 curviness bring is down until like this and spacing spacing is 0 0.75 no maybe one 1.25 so you guys can change these settings and mm, 2.25 1.75 so you play with these settings until you feel like it's look like ball point pen effect and I think for me this look almost the effect I wanted then bring down the variation a bit not too much maybe two yeah so this look fine and say okay unfortunately this effect we can't save as a preset so it's we cannot do anything for that okay fill is done now we go to stroke and we give a stroke width we need to have the same stroke color and stroke width to maybe 0 0.75 okay now we have that pen look in here which the effect we wanted and beside this we can have one additional and um, but this time you select the type go to fx and go to the photoshop fx and until this can this one you can give or you can avoid it's up to you guys but i wanted to give some more realistic effect and select the uh, color color pencil from here which will bring this one and adjust the settings here until you get that look you wanted I think this is a very old effect guys this one is since there in photoshop since i think 1990s so that's why you see this interface very they are not compatible with my screen also because my screen is 4k display and uh, they haven't even updated this use ui so i think adobe is forget about this this fx anyway guys so if you see this fx it will give you a more realistic pencil look pen look other than the thing but it's up to you guys for you if you want to keep it more vector looking thing you can take out this effect and have this this but this one will give you more realistic look into the texture with the texture 
you can also have a texture to the paper uh, paper and make it more even more realistic all right guys so for this one one thing is uh, one thing you need to see this one is still editable It may take some time because of that Photoshop effect, but as you can see, these things are still editable, which is cool, right? Okay, so we go back to previous mode. Okay, so one thing, and uh, this is the effect I wanted to show you guys. The last thing I I have done with the uh, with the with the design is because it's blueprint i just had some drawing kind of things and and add some uh strokes with air arrows and we make it like this kind of arrow Just bring down this one here, just to look like a engineering drawing. I have made all these things here. All right, guys. So I look everything and bring it to. Okay, I think this is enough with these settings now. All right, guys. This one look cool. So you can have this kind of design for your. Uh, project works or covers which which have something like blueprints and something to do with engineering or all main kind of drawings cover designs and and make if you want to make a paper looking thing you can use this design hope you guys learned something new and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial